Oh my god, it's video games. We are back. Talk about, oh my god, you're never gonna believe it. Video games. It's me, Ratchet Drew. We've got the games, a lot of them. It's video games pickups. Yes, we're doing that again. Here we are. We've got an actual decent uh, stack of six games right here to talk about. So, with that, let's just get right into it. But also, tell me what are some of the games you've picked up recently. Alright, now we'll get into it. Alright, um, let's start with these Switch games first. First up is a really cool collection that has two different versions. There's a version in the US and there's a version in Japan. And I actually didn't realize that there were differences between the versions. Um, so I picked up the Japanese one and that is the Namcot Collection. Or I think it's called like the Namco Gallery or the Namco Archives here in the States. But um, this I think came out in like 2019, 2020. Didn't know about it till recently. But I saw that it came with Juan Paku Graffiti on there, which is a fantastic little spin-off of the Splatterhouse series, so I had to pick this up. And alongside it, it came with uh, Pac-Man, obviously, the Tower of Dr Druaga, hey, how about that? Uh, Star Luster, Yokai Do Dochuki, Dochuki, I thought it was Dochiki, Yokai Dochuki, which is kind of an interesting, like, little side-scrolling uh, platforming shooter. Uh, I want to put more time into that one. It seems really cool, but also kind of janky. Uh, Dragon Spirits on there, Splatterhouse. Um, the first Wygon Land is on there. I've talked about, what is it, Wygon Paradise on the channel many, many years ago. Um, so that was cool to get. And actually, what's really cool is that, and unfortunately, I can't get it because I don't have a Japanese account, but the um, there, you, there are more games you can download for this collection. And there's a couple of really cool japan only rpgs on there but yes namco collection pretty cool nice updated uh version uh has some save states some rewind features stuff like that to make the games uh, you know at least a little more playable oh it also kind of comes with like this digital shelf uh that you can like design and decorate really cool neat game collection Highly recommend picking that up. I actually think the Japanese version has some better games than the, the US version, but you do get a lot of crap on this. There's a lot of very, very early Namco games for the NES that are not very good. All right, moving on. We have some SNK goodness with SNK Heroines, which is a fighting game, of course, from SNK. And it's uh, kind of like a, a Bishojo fighter. It rounds up all the ladies of SNK, or at least a lot of them, and uh, pits them in a tag team fighting game. Uh, frenzy it's a tag team frenzy so it's tag team fighting frenzy it's pretty cool it doesn't quite operate like your standard fighting game so instead of just whittling down somebody's health bar you have to get them to a certain point of the health bar and then use like your special um, to take them out it's pretty cool it's interesting plays well enough actually it, it uh, doesn't play like a traditional fighting game your um, your specials are all kind of uh, uh, done in a sort of Smash Bros style kind of way where you like hold like A and up and you'll do your special moves. It's interesting. It's kind of a dumbed down version of a fighting game, but it's still fun and to just kind of pick up and play for a few minutes here and there. Also, you get My Share Nui in a cow bikini. So uh, what else can I say? It's a 10 out of 10 game on that alone. Uh, earns two Ds. All right, that is SNK Tag Team Frenzy. If, uh, or Her SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy, if you like fighting games, check it out. If you like SNK, check it out. Alright, let's move on to some Famicom games. First up, we have the Japanese version of Uninvited. And, uh, the reason I opted to get the Japanese version is simply just to own the game, and I did not really want to pay the, like, 100 plus, 200 plus it is to get a <laughs> NES copy of the game nowadays. A little too expensive for my blood, but I would love to own Uninvited because it, it is my favorite of the Chemco trilogy. Loved the game, reviewed it a couple years ago. It still holds up. I play through it just about every year now. It's so much fun. The music is great, and it has a good sense of humor. So if you've never played Uninvited, consider checking it out. Check out my review if you haven't either. All right, next up is one of those games that you definitely want to import because it is stupid expensive here in the states because it came out pretty late in the nes's life cycle yeah 93 i have copyright 93 on this and that is mighty final fight 
And if you're not familiar with Mighty Final Fight, it is basically just a chibi version of the first game of Final Fight, made to fit onto the NES, chibi little characters, I think you only get about like two or three enemies per screen, so, you know, it's definitely a downgraded version of the game, but it's still, I think it is just wonderful and neat and interesting. It is absolutely flawed, but it is a fun game, fun little addition, and why not pick it up? I think I got this for 30-something? Uh, I think it was like $35. So yeah, picked it up. Happy to have this in my collection. Love me some mighty final fight, jank and all. All right, and we'll get down to the last two games here. First up, I, since I just did my Saturn collection video, you all will probably have seen that by now. Uh, it That of course made me want to go, ah oh, man, there are some games I'm missing for the Saturn that I'd like to add to my collection. And I've started collecting for the Saturn again. <laughs> So, I was browsing around and happened to find a pretty good price on Steam Gear Mash, which is a really cool top-down isometric platforming shooter where you take control of our little robot buddy here. And you kind of, and it's it's kind of like a Metroidvania in a way, but but on a much smaller scale. Scale, you have non-linear levels that you have to go around and explore and find things so that you can progress to the next level and do it all over again. But it is a pretty darn fun game. Um, great music. I really do love the graphics. Kind of a hidden gem on the Saturn. And uh, it's still relatively cheap. I got this for $30 exactly, which uh, was an absolute steal. So yes, if you're needing some more Saturn games in your collection, Steam Gear Mash is one you should check out. And then last but not least, um, we have a really cool light gun game on the PlayStation 1 and um, this came out in this did come out in Europe it also came out in Japan obviously but we never got it over here in the States and it is called Rescue Shot this is such a cool game from Namco where you play as this kind of unassuming dog you see here and he's basically just trying to walk his way home or walk his way through through I don't know whatever world they are in and you have to like shoot things out of his way. You have to shoot him to make him jump over things and take care of these other obstacles and stuff that he just kind of walks into on the way home or wherever he's going. I don't quite remember the story, but it's such a cool little game. I will 100% be doing a review of this game very soon. Hopefully it is one of the first reviews I do in the new year. But yes, that is Rescue Shot for the PlayStation 1 really fun game highly recommend playing it with the keyboard and mouse nowadays rather than tracking down a tube tv however if you already have a tube tv and a gun or a gun con or some sort of light gun give this game a shot a literal shot it's a lot of fun it's really cool well that is going to do it for the video game pickups here today we got a good stack of them got through a lot of them more to come here soon enough i will see you all next time. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this episode, consider checking out these other videos right here, or even subscribing. Also, if you'd like to throw me a couple of bucks, you can support the show on Patreon.